at night and uh, it's the only time I had time to work on the project right now because I've been busy with finals so I found some people hanging out down the street and I decided to interview them. Can you describe your community? Um, the community I live in it's uh, you could say um, minorities a lot of the, a lot of Mexican minorities who come and establish here like families and stuff who work really really hard on a daily basis also um, you could say a lot of violence a lot of gang violence happens on and um, it becomes a real problem for kids growing up because you know the stuff they see growing up. And uh, we're from a community where there's a lot of lower economic people, lower class. Everyone, everyone struggles around me. Um, getting to school, it's pretty tough. Many gangs on the way over. A lot of the crime rate's really high. There's a lot of dangerous people. Many people out here don't know. The community is very poor community, very lower class. Um, it's really violent here. A lot of gang activity. Um, yeah, there's a lot of graffiti, a lot of gang graffiti around here. You can't really walk at night around here. Uh, yeah, it's really dangerous. Problem for me, actually, I'm gonna use this as an example. Would be uh, school education-wise. A lot of the community, at, uh, the, actually, a high percent of the community I live in. Um, are uh, Im immigrants, so a lot of us um, that go to school can't get the help, and uh, so we have to work jobs, and like, and it becomes a problem actually going to school if you're going to go to school full time because um, you're working and and uh, you're you're going to school and you can't focus. The problem that you see is a lot of gang violence. Um, a lot of innocent people get involved when they shouldn't. Uh, a lot of ignorance here out here in the nights, um, a lot of drugs, drug deals, um, cops not doing anything about it. Um, they drive by, look the other way, pretend there's nothing there. They don't take it seriously. One of the major problems here in my community would be um, gangs. Um, you don't feel safe when you're walking around. They, you feel harassed. They look at you. Uh, many Local stores are out here, always get robbed and taxed due to gang of, um, due to gangsters and stuff. And you gotta be careful. Uh, the solutions I propose, uh, very good, some ideas that I have in mind for this problem can be uh, maybe uh, a lot more prog uh, programs actually that, uh, that can help fundraise for a lot of college students, you know, that can't, you know, pay out for tuitions and stuff like that. And also a lot of like educational programs for kids, you know, like after school activities involving sports, music, you know, et cetera. Um, see, the thing about this is that, it, you know, it takes a lot of time and it takes a lot of money and dedication for this, but it's, it's possible. So that's some of the pro programs that I have in mind for that. Um, now, now that actually that you brought that to my attention, I feel that the way I could contribute to the community would be by donating or starting this thing where we're contributing a uh, camp, uh, camp food drive type things and um, to help uh, the people that don't get fed, you know, and um, that's one of the things that comes to mind. I would say one of the solutions would be having a gang injection here. I think that would solve many crimes. It will reduce the amount of crimes being um, committed. That would make me feel safer. Instead of Putting gangsters in jail, we should um, put them in places like homeboys, try to help them out to clean up their lives. The ones that really want to succeed, be successful. The solution that I see to that is, uh, I would say, more police patrol in really bad neighborhoods because 
there's not really that many cops out here. Not as much as we need out here. Uh, recently, you called the cops and somebody right here, and uh, took them three hours to get here. So that was a waste of time. Uh, cops never take things seriously here. Well, from what I've seen, um, and now we need so, uh, we need something more more serious to get either get rid of them or not just get rid of them. Never mind. Yeah.